Hello YouTube, it's me Broner98, and today in this video, in 60 frames per second might I add, um, we're going to be installing OS X Mavericks onto my 2009 MacBook. Only really because I've been having a few issues with El Capitan that I just don't it's acting up and I really don't know what to do. Um, I'll probably end up upgrading back to El Capitan after I get an iPhone again. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Also, sorry if the lighting's a little messed up. I'm still trying to figure out the best way of filming videos over here. got my Mavericks install on this. Um, this is going to be the easiest way of doing it. Let me rephrase it. The easiest way of doing this would have been to get have the um, Mavericks install app in my Apple library, but I never did. Never got it when it was available for download, and I got my MacBook after Yosemite it already came out. So. Um, yeah, I went ahead and downloaded a couple different versions of Mavericks, the install apps, and none of them would work. Like, none of them would launch. It would say this application could not be launched, not because of it being, um, the OS version being too new or anything like that. It was just, it could not be launched. So... After dealing with all that crap, I finally went ahead and downloaded the OS X, which one did I download here, the base system.dmg, put it on this flash drive, and it recognizes, let's, let's see, I hope I have Zoom turned on for this, no I do not, hold on, just so right. So as you guys can maybe see there, it did detect on my MacBook. Let's get the install OS 10 Mavericks and it tells me this copy of the install OS 10 application is too old to be opened on this version of OS 10. So that means we should be able to um, boot from it. So I'm going to shut down the MacBook. Hopefully my Note 5 doesn't go crazy with the autofocus here. Let's, uh, yeah, it already is. Let's try to focus in on the Mac. There we go. So, holding down Alt on the keyboard. Alright, so I found the OS 10 base system. We're going to boot from that. Alright, so it's come up with install OS 10. To set up the installation of OS 10, click continue. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go into disk utility. And see, I, I don't recommend doing something like this if A, you aren't experienced doing this, this kind of thing, and B, if you don't have a secondary computer or Mac to download firmwares, or not firmwares, but OS versions. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and erase my drive, rename it Macintosh, wow, I cannot spell it Macintosh, SSD, and 
supply. And I may even while I'm over here after installing it, I'm thinking of swapping my 250 gig hard drive back into the original slot and then putting the 120 gig SSD into the drive caddy only because I'm afraid if the 250 gig disk if the 250 gig drive dies I have nowhere to go. I'm gonna have a harder time replacing it. So we're gonna hit continue. Agree. Install it to my SSD. And uh yeah. It's a speed up display. By the way guys, let me know how the Note5 video seems. Um, I usually record with this, which is our video production camera. Samsung Galaxy S4. This is the, a Sprint variant. So, yeah. Computers are starting. So I'm just going to unplug the USB drive. So yeah, we've got Mavericks running, it's telling me my Apple ID is being used on my Mac, well it told me that on my Mac bro. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.